Hello, Mamby Pambies, and welcome to the Infinite Regression. Hey, does my voice sound like it's been run over by a fucking, I don't know, a whole bunch of fucking things that ruin voices? Yeah, well, your face may be not so good, so fuck you. You gotta start out with that good fuck you energy. This is the the key to comedy. You want to achieve comedy? Come out, fuck you energies is right off the bat. Anyway, long as I'm achieving all my fucking life's goals all at the same time, why don't we do this shit? Huh? Why not this shit? <laughs> of the shit that why not? This, huh? How about it? Anyway... <laughs> So, uh, you know how it is. I got to round the horn this shit. Nobody enjoys this part or asks me to do it or cares for that matter. I got 27 viewers now and ain't none of them ever been like, hey, you know that part where you go around the horn at the beginning? Keep that. That is definitely worth keeping. Nobody has told me that shit. So... You can trust that they did nothing this bit hard. That they're like, you know how I feel about that? I don't even give a fuck enough to tell you. So carry on, you wayward motherfucker, I guess. Anyway, so I will. Remember that song? <laughs> Who sings that one? Is, is that a fucking, uh, is that six? No, it's Kansas, motherfucker. Come on, named after a state, not a fucking Grecian river. Anyway. <laughs> Carry on my wayward motherfucker. There be peace when you are done. Carry on my wayward motherfucker. Don't you cry no more. Don't you cry no more. Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> don't cry, motherfucker. It's bad. It's bad for you. We're supporting the toxic type masculinity. Hey, don't fucking cry, son of a bitch. <laughs> What you crying for? That you still have to maintain toxic masculinity even though it's fucking 2022 and you could like fucking ride a penny farthing bicycle, listen to bands that haven't started yet and talk about your goddamn feelings in coffee shops with women purportedly, I guess. <laughs> I look at them and I'm like, God damn, that's one of them ones I should not assume. <laughs> like, she wear overalls and has a short haircut. Like, I cannot say. She knows how to ride a penny farthing. She brought her own. Like, I don't know what that means anymore. I don't know what that ever meant. The fuck, man. <laughs> 2022. Getting after it. Yee hoodle. Anyway, um, so I gotta, what the fuck? I added three more minutes of just nothing? Well, great. We are off to a fast pace to Noversville Square. Oh my god, shout out to the first episode. Oh my god, remember that one? What a mistake. <laughs> Here we are, 52 episodes later. If you wonder why I haven't been updating shit on this channel or my other channel, I've been sick as a motherfucker with no voice, and this is the most of voice that I have, which is to say I'm at like 67% voice, <laughs> which is better than I was yesterday when I was at like 23% voice. <laughs> Which is ridiculous. Anyway, 
I can at least sing now. I mean, I can't sing anything in the upper fucking register, but you didn't come for that anyway. You weren't like, let's hear this motherfucker sing them high notes. That's why we came. That's what we fucking wanted. Anyway, so, yeah. Let's talk about our feelings. Um, <laughs> I feel sick and fucking tired of being sick. And that's the bullshit. I also feel concerned that other students will find out about my shit and they'll ruin my fucking life. I don't need that in my life. I don't need my life ruined. Come on, I just barely got this life. <laughs> can't go ruining this shit I just barely figured out a thing or two about it swear to fucking Christ okay so um, here's the thing I gotta go around this horn I wasted another two minutes didn't say jack shit anyway hey Braxton did you write some good shit I know what you wrote and it's kind of a cop out Monfrunda you fucked up you fucked up in that I know your method. I know your method because I am planning on using it for Christmas. That's right, motherfucker. I'm already looking down the road for Christmas. Christmas creep is happening. And I said Christmas. I don't believe in fucking Mary Jeebus, okay? That motherfucker and I, I... <laughs> I went way back with him and like then I found out that he was mostly full of shit and I was like god damn it Jeebus <laughs> I thought you were cool and Jeebus was like what can I do I don't fucking exist the way you thought I did and I'm like yeah I know this is the information you should have fucking shared with me at some point Jeebus fucking selfish is what this is Anyway, fucking Jeebus. You know, anyway, so Braxton, um, go fuck your Jeebus, I think is what we've learned. This episode is made possible by not giving a fuck. Like, <laughs> I should have restarted and tried again like twice by now. And I'm just fucking trekking along as if it's all good. It is not. Um, anyway, hey, Ian, my God, my dude. Last time you got us a banner ad on Ask Jeeves. Cool, cool, nice. Th this, this fucking week, what did you do? Oh, you got into Braxton's Devil's Lettuce. And then you fucking eat, you what now? You started like watching porn that is also anime. What the fuck? And that's where your entire week went. Is you got high as a motherfucker and then you looked at cartoon titties? What the fuck, my dude? <laughs> Like, we have a professional. Chaz, I swear to Christ. Chaz, do you see what you have wrought with your nepotism? This motherfucker didn't even do his job this week. We could do some shit about this, Chaz? Oh, we're not. Because you don't want your sister to fucking yell at you. You don't want to worry your little fucking half-grown-in hair plugs which, why are they a different color than the rest of your fucking hair? Like, is your fucking hair plug guy, does, does he have color blindness? Were you just doing him a favor by not pointing out like, oh, those do not match. But he just see in, sees in fucking, you know, shades of gray. And he's like, close enough, here we go. Let's pop it in there like we're fucking making a Barbie doll. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, your hair plugs look shitty. So congratulations on that. And um, you bring us nepotism and it doesn't even fucking work. That's some bullshit, Chaz. 
Anyway, Clarissa, what you got? <laughs> Clarissa. Son of a bitch. Clarissa just fucking... Uh, she thought that I said chlamydia. And then she thought that I was telling her because we used to be lovers Clarissa and I you know this if you know the lore of the show you would know that Clarissa and I almost tied the knot that's right she is a beautiful woman um even when she is you know uh three sheets to the wind some say she's the most beautiful when she doesn't, when she's blitzkrieged out of her fucking brain, and doesn't know where she is, you know. But like, I, I'm a gentleman. I would not say that that is the case. Fucking Casein over here, that asshole. He's always trying to get two scoops. He's always trying to mash them taters. But I swear to fucking Christ, dude, you back the fuck off. Consent, motherfucker. This woman was almost my wife. Do you have no fucking respect? Okay, you don't have fucking respect for... Well, fuck you. Odds is... How about this? I'll fucking sock you in the nose. You pull that shit this week, okay? Like, she is a human being. She is not a sex object. And just because she has a little trouble with her alcohol does not mean that you get to fucking swoop in and like, you know, two scoops in your two mitts in your two big old fucking grabby hands. Anyway, uh, Aiden, your parents are douche canoes and we are two minutes over what I like to normally be at. So we're fucked. Let's roll this up. The show's fucked. You won't ever see this version of it because we're going to go back and we're going to fucking... You know, record over it, do like, yes, record over it as if it were a cassette tape. Did you not know that this show was recorded on cassette tape? Well, it fucking is. You want to know the fucking best evidence of that? This motherfucker coming the way right now, uh, Stanley, the fucking Stanley Diamond Tits Manly, yeah. I saw your fucking record, my dude. I have your motherfucking record. Your titties, your fucking manly nerps are fucking glass cutters, my dude. Like, (laughs) it ain't smuggling raisins. It's fucking sneaking around with a couple of fucking glass cutters. (laughs) Like, you gotta fucking put a warning on those. You go pierce somebody's eyeball you know it's gonna be trouble anyway uh but yeah say your fucking thing stanley you big ass disappointment i actually listened to your album today it was fucking great (laughs) but i prefer that maybe you not to listen to that i found jesus the lord you sound like shit stanley do you have the cold everybody else has um, I, I do, it's, um, I hope to be able to say my thing. Yeah, I hope you can say your thing too. I didn't even fucking think about that when I called you over here, you big fucking piece of shit. But for tradition's sake, for no other reason, let's hear you say the fucking thing on the screen right now so we can get into it. Um. We can type on volume 52. That was your worst one ever. And that's saying something, you old piece of shit. Fucking hate you, Stanley. Go kill yourself. Anyway, with that out of the way, I, I'm kidding. Kill yourself. No, but seriously, do fucking murder yourself before next week's show. That is your assignment. Can you fucking do that for me, Stanley? He's not going to fucking do it. I made him swear to it before, and he never fucking pulls through. Coward. Anyway, hey, with your spooky host, Rambles Pemberton's of the Clemson Burritos. What the fuck, man? I don't have tits. I'm not a lady. (laughs) 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I I got a Y chromosome. Look, I hate to disappoint you. This is not a picture of me. But my legs, while shapely, are not a lady's fucking legs. Uh, come on, Rem, with your oddly sexy legs. How dare you turn me into a sex object? This is bullshit. My first day with womanly legs and you're fucking already getting after me in a sexual way. This is fucking bullshit. Now I know what it is to be a woman in America. <laughs> Let's do some fucking heavy handed commentary. <laughs> Top of the show. Woman in America. You're a sexual object without your fucking permission or consent. You just have to fucking deal with it. Creep's gonna come up on you creeping, and you just gotta be ready. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's true. <laughs> Everything I said is true. It's fucking sad. Anyway, um, hey, let's fucking have a show, even though I've got like 67% of a voice. Wait, I have to play the fucking theme song. God damn it. I didn't even do the one thing the slide said to do. This has always been the theme song. This has always been the theme. This has always been the theme song. This has always been the theme. Ah, uh, the cha. Makes you feel good, doesn't it? The cha. Okay, I'm hoping to keep this one simple and keep this one relatively motherfucking short. Not get bogged down, all lost in the goddamn weeds and shit. So let's make some shit happen, okay? This week's episode Halloween Spooky Times 20 to the motherfucking 22, bitches. Uh, because. It is All Hallows Eve, like, fucking tomorrow and shit. No, not tomorrow, Sunday. I'm thinking that tonight is Sunday, but it's actually... I haven't gone to bed on Saturday, so it's fucking Saturday. (laughs) That's how time works. When I go to bed, that's when it fucking resets. Anyway. So, yeah. Halloween is Monday. The first not weekend day of this week. It's all fucking Hallow's Eve. You think I'm recording a weekend episode on a fucking weekday? No, because I have to work that day. Uh, Sorry, I edit for nothing. But um, I also, uh, in addition to working, like I can't fucking take time because I have young kids and shit. Like, we going to go do some Halloween shit. And so I can't fucking uh, just be like, oh, I'm going to record episodes on the fucking Monday. Like, no, it's got to be today or nothing, bitches. Like, this is what it is. Anyway, let's find out. Part the first. Horrifyingly poorly translated formerly spooky Halloween stories. K. I have not read these. I just put them in a translator and like made sure that the translator did a shit job, you know, just going through it enough times and whatnot. And uh, then you get it back and it's like, I don't make a whole lot of sense. And you're like, exactly. Perfect. Uh,. <laughs> So let's find out. Let's find out. Uh, Story number one. Dem Bones. Dem Bones. There's a fucking song about it. I don't know it, which is good, because I would sing it if I knew it, and I violate all the fucking copyright laws. Anyway... (laughs) Dem Bones, Dem Bones, Dem Bones, Dem Bones... Demos! Is that the fucking song? That's a shit song. Uh, I don't edit for any reason, and maybe I should. Did you fucking hear that? I should be ashamed of myself, goddammit. Marijuana. (laughs) 
normally you do me good. You get my creative juices flowing, but like right now, you are suspect, weed. Come on, get with it. Anyway, let's read this fucking story about damn bones. Damn bones, damn bones, damn bones, damn bones. Dem, 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 dem bones. <laughs> That's a more reasonable song. It's still not a fucking dem bones song. Because the only words are dem bones. And I don't know if that's how dem bones goes. Let's fucking read it. Okay. I, Granny, were tell to that child's this Captain Kid. The knowing law were he in he is a trail. Travel thee upon Jersey coast, looking of perfect spot to buried he is a steel booty. Oh, yeah. That's right, Barry, he is a steel booty. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> like, fucking get it, bro. You can get it all day. Look at him with his fucking red mustache and shit. He could fucking get it. Don't think he couldn't. He could fucking get it. Anyway, um... And himself find it near that grove for gnarled, windswept pines in Sandy Hook. Oh, shit. When you... Like, when this was written, people are like, yeah, Sandy Hook, whatever. It's just a place most people don't know. And now you say Sandy Hook and people are like, Oh, fuck. This is a complicated term now. It means all kinds of shit. You know, because, like, now it also means, like, Alex Jones got sued a goddamn billion dollars. <laughs> and he's like, I don't have it. People are like, yeah, I think you got it, you fucking asshole. Anyway, like, it's much more complicated now. <laughs> so... When this was written, they're probably just like, Sandy Hook, just say it's Sandy Hook, whatever, who gives a fuck. Um, anyway. Individual, moonless, dark, the night. Adventure galley slid, slides silently onto harbor up Sandy Hook. Once the wind wandering eyes for two hide watchers. That crew for scurvy buccaneers, armed taking cutlasses and pistols, having rowed boatload after boatload for heavy chests, the onto shore. I mean, right, you know what's happening. Those was accompanied by that tall, proud man's taking red whiskers and that cocked hat the this watchers recognized upon once the two bold leader Captain Kidd. The captain lead he is a man away originate shore, and those disappeared, taking them the onto grove for pines. The pirates was go along any time, long enough, according to those that person watch, to burial any time a mount for treasure. Those come away before dawn and rode backward to the adventure galley and sail the onto lasted vestiges for dark night. Ah, oh, people saw that shit, my friend. They know what you did. For the coarse, eager watchers keep their knowledge quiet and scurried through the two pine grove that few days later, armed taking lanterns and shovels, prevent nary that gold coin find those, and on frustration those share their tale taking other well folks the on region. After this, were don't that night what the time Pine Grove have don't look someone digging fervently taking that shovel. After that few decades for the that, Pine Grove give the upon ghost and die away completely. By I grannies any time, this were nothing leave the four spot saved that few stunted trees, a several windswept grass, and in certain dark nights, dem bones. Dem bones, m skeletal crew for Captain Kidd. According to I granny, 
those enter sailing upon th- <laughs> upon on that ship make for shadows the ship moves silently the upon coast the upon dark for the moon and anchors where closed the two shores for sandy hook two or three bones am lowered originate woman of side and those am filled upon the taking eager forms for glowing skeletons wearing cocked hats and tattooed buccaneers garb around their waists am belts full for pistols and long cutlasses the biggest for dem bones the individual uh, this is the probably first mate is that skeletal parrot perched in he is a shoulder dem bones carried heavy trunks for f- full for treasure the unto shore and scatter them every one the around house the where pine grove once stand the then pirate crew hauls outward kegs and kegs for whiskey and individual the four skeletons takes outward that fiddle that phantom fire is light the in sand and dem bones started such that rowdy singing and dancing the this noise will the woke die conditionally to those weren't already awake what time those am exhausting the originate dancing the glowing skeletons collapse the in sand and started telling stories the around ships those take captured the and treasure those take amassed a several for dem bones the opened more than trunks and to take outward jewels and ropes for pearls and adorn themselves others toss gold coins backward and forth to conditionally to those that uh, was that child's ball the upon darkness part for the night only before dawn dem bones pack the upon trunks and row backward the two ship for shadows individual by individual glowing skeletons disappeared the onto held the and ship draws anchor and sails away yeah that's pretty shitty this is a real piece of shit. Don't worry, I only have four more of these. <laughs> oh, God, what a show. I have already lost faith. I don't believe in what I'm doing. I don't believe that this show will be salvageable. It can't be saved, it won't be saved, it can't be saved, it won't be saved. <laughs> I can barely sing that high. <laughs> mm. Anyway, let's get it over with, muchachos. Here we go. That is what she said. But not about anything sexual. She was like, hey, I'm at a mechanic shop. And the mechanics are, um, in general, uh, fucking tend to be of Hispanic persuasion. And all the ones working on her car are definitely Hispanic. And she's like, fucking let's go, muchachos. And it's like the only time a white woman like herself can fucking say that and get away with it. Anyway, new story. Oh, the puppy. This one's fucking stupid. It's one of those like, oh my God, I swear it's real. And it happened on Reddit. It's like, yeah, I don't give a fuck what it is that happened on Reddit. It ain't real. Um, anyway, this is the way I feel about a lot of shit. Uh, Mommy tell my always only to went with the on basement. Prevent myself one to look to what we what were making this noise. It kind for sounded appreciation that puppy. And myself want to look puppy want to the look puppy. Then myself the open basement door and tiptoed through that bite. Myself didn't look that puppy. And then mommy yanked my outward, 
the forbasement and yelled upon my mommy having always only yelled upon my before and it make my sadden and myself cried then mommy tell my always only to went with the onto basement again and herself give my that cookie this make my felt better then myself didn't ask woman of why the r boy the on basement were making the noises appreciation that puppy or why are himself having don't hands or feet oh my god that's scary himself having don't hands or feet why himself having don't hands or feet where his fucking hands and feet go did mommy cut them off god damn it that's not scary i don't give a fuck it's Congratulations on trying. You are a failure. Uh, anyway, the chair. Let's see about this one. What time my sister Betsy and myself was kids, our family live of a while on that charmed old farmhouse. Our love exploration, it's dust corners. Wait a minute, it's your sister. You can't be going on a love exploration with your sister. Oh, maybe you're getting some boys involved. You're like, hey, boys, <laughs> want to explore the cavernous depths of both myself and my sister? We can go into that charmed old farmhouse. Anyway, uh, we can do a love exploration. It's dust corners and the climbing apple tree, the on backyard. Prevent our favorite thing, the word ghost. Our call woman of mother due to herself seemed then kind and nurturing. As several mornings, Betsy and myself will woke upon, and in every for our neighborhood uh, for our nightstands, we'd found that cup this hadn't achieved the this night before. Mother having leave them this, worrying this we'd have thirsty when the happens night. Herself, if only want to, to take care for us. The Among Homes original furnishings were an antique wooden chair, which are keep the against backward wall the for living room. When our was preoccupied watching TV or playing the, that game, mother will inch this chair forward the across room toward us. Sometimes she'd managed to movement it the every one way, the to center the four room. Our always feel saddened putting it backward the against wall. Mother only want to be near us. Years later, long after we'd moving outward, myself found an old newspaper article, the around farmhouse's original occupant, that widow. She'd murdered woman of two children by giving them every that cup for poison milk before bed. Then herself hang herself. The article include that photo the four farmhouses living room taking that woman's body hanging originate that beam. Beneath woman of knock over were this old wooden chair placed exactly the on center the four room did it have colder in this place or is it only my okay this is the last story thank christ hey braxton the people are loving this they love this don't don't you people you love these stories you, you think they're funny don't you you wish I would stop doing them, right? Wait, wait, you're clapping and doing at the same time? Okay, hold up. Just to make it clear, if I stopped doing these stories, how would you feel? Okay, well, you're going to feel that way soon enough because it's fucking time to finish this last fucking guy. Okay individual night that teenage boy and he is a girlfriend headed to their local lovers lane then this those can spend a several any time alone together 
The girl were that little bite afraid due to in this daybreak. She'd hear the over radio for that man's that person having achieved release originate that local insane asylum. No, the two hook. He is a hand having achieved mangled on an accident, and he'd having it replaced taking that hook. Due to this word, was don't prosthetics available the upon any time. The night were dark, and the teenagers cuddled upon together. Another announcement were make the over radio to warn people the around hook. And to stay vigilant, the and young girl pulled away the originate boy, scare, asking himself conditionally to those can went with home. Only the then, car start to shook, and doors rattled. The teens peered outside, prevent couldn't look anyone outside. The car shake vigorously again once more, and the boy decided were any time to left, and then those sped away. The inway home originate the dated, there the dated, couple stop off upon that late night diner of a several coffee and chicken. Once those keep outward the four car, to what have those look? Long scratches, the through sides the four car, and that hook, still, the on handled the four car door. Oh my God, can you believe it? What a twist ending. Who saw that coming? Huh, that hook stick the on handled the four car door. Oh my God, I saw that coming a mile away. Might have been because I fucking put this together. Yeah, Braxton, you're right. <laughs> you're kind of maybe sort of off the hook for this one unless it gets real shitty. In which case, yeah, it's your fucking fault. <laughs> anyway, regardless, let's move on. Part the second. The scariest shit that I can imagine. This is fucking true. I'm not even joking. Uh, scary number one. Arizona might actually elect as governor this election-denying bitch-ass former decent person who turned her back on decency and reason and sold her goddamn soul to suckle a big pumpkin-colored teat. And she will immediately stop letting my vote get counted if she does. Like, this bitch doesn't think that I should be allowed to vote. Even in years where, like, the sentiment swings away from me and my vote is less likely to count in this backwards ass state but she's like yeah let's fucking get it going but like she believes in the big lie she's like oh it is a fact the election was stolen never mind there's no evidence and the people who have studied it like literally have an answer for all of your goddamn questions like, why the fuck are you so stupid? Anyway, this motherfucker. Arizona might actually elect as Secretary of State this fucking goddamn piece of redneck trash who doesn't have the brain cells to not fucking believe every goddamn conspiracy all at once. This fucker was actually there in purpose on January 6th. He is a traitor... And we cannot fucking have traitors in our democracy. It doesn't fucking work that way, goddammit. Uh, this motherfucking douchebag, he's spending so much money to make sure I see so many commercials about him. And it's like, you fucking goofy looking piece of shit. I don't want to see your goddamn commercial at the beginning of everything I look at on the internet in perpetuity. It's Fucking bullshit, man. Swear to Christ. Okay. This fucking guy. Blake Masters. This douchebag in asshole's clothing. 
Like, I swear to Christ. He is one of the most dangerous candidates out there. He fucking hates people. That's his campaign is like, I hate all the right people. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little phlegm in my throat. But he's like, yeah, I hate all the right people. That's not a campaign, numb nuts. You can't just hate people and be like, for America. <laughs> like, what? Mm. And he just wants to take people's rights away and shit. And that's bullshit. Anyway. Part the third. Okay. <laughs> we just gotta fucking get this back. Poorly translated Halloween jokes designed to ease the tension of me just having pointed out that literally half of our political system is done with democracy which is something we just don't want to fucking face up to for some reason we don't like republicans it's not they, they're not fascistic they are fascist like they are not fascist light fascist ish they're fucking no longer about democracy at all and so we can't fucking have them because they want to overthrow the fucking government and will of the people and they tried last time and they got farther than any of us thought they would so yeah and don't think they didn't learn from that and then fucking reload for this time, literally and figuratively. Anyway, this is fucking messed up. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do some terrible dad style jokes of a Halloween nature. And uh, yeah, that'll be a thing. Anyway, uh, so here we go. Joke number one. Uh, to what the have which will what time woman of broomstick break? Herself witch hiked to the house of witch. <laughs> oh man. That is, is funny. You are correct. Oh my god. Uh, joke number two. Have you are heard the around skeleton that go the person hospital? Him have the eat candy of jawbreaker. <laughs> oh man. Oh, we're already on joke three. With a method does an angry skeleton to the confronting he is a friend. I am the have of bone pick for you. You guys, yeah, they like that one. Anyway, hey, hey, guess what? Show's over. Yeah, that's right. No closure. No closure, whatever. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, don't forget that first it's Oh, yeah. So no closure in light of this is just, you know, it's maybe not so bad. This program was made possible by the Ignis and Gertrudina Buttcomber Foundation. Promotional considerations provided by Ralph Morgan's Extra Strangly Snakes. Ah, oh, fuck, I never changed the thing. I'm going to change it right now, and you'll not know. It'll be a seamless transition. Ralph Morgan's Extra Strangly Snakes. That's right. Been with us since the beginning. The Lonely Ass Librarians Guild. Grandpappy True Reels, Foul Smelling Balms and Gruels. And the one and only True God. This program was directed and performed by Rem Pemberton. Written by Braxton White Guy. Just a couple of normal ass dudes. Get over it, Braxton. Theme song by the Out of Tuners. You guys suck as always. 
a presentation of non-sober haven't slept yet badger productions gotta go to fucking bed let's do it a subsidiary of the large, boring sounding corporation with a surprisingly questionable business practices. Lawful Asset Holdings Incorporated. A branch of the intentionally vague corporation whose purpose may never be known. The Blaine Group. And communism. Not dead yet, suckers. Communism appears courtesy of the need for a new American labor movement. The American labor movement. It's like politics, but it's relevant to your actual life. The American labor movement would like to remind you that if you don't like the results of unbridled capitalism, you should vote to try something else. In fucking indeed, we actually have a chance to be like, hey, maybe let's not be fascistic and fucking awful. Anyway, hey, people. Uh, this has been a little slice of fucking purgatory. <laughs> I was going to say heaven, but I was like, nope, we didn't quite make it there. We didn't get baptized. And we said Jesus motherfucking H to the goddamn holes in his hands. Christ, uh, and shit like that is what fucking prevented us from getting that PG rating that we always fucking wanted. Anyway, hey, people. That's going to do it for us, you fucking, fucking great people, you fucking awesome. Just fuck you, you fucking awesome people. What the fuck? Anyway, that's going to do it for this one, people. I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.